Hi guys, it's Debbie, and today I would like to speak about The Hitman's Bodyguard, a comedy action film directed by Patrick Hughes and starring Ryan Reynolds, Samuel L. Jackson, Salma Hayek and Gary Oldman. Ryan Reynolds portrays Michael Bryce, a once very successful and highly requested personal bodyguard, but which unfortunately failed to protect one of his clients, resulting in his death. So although his skills in the field of personal protection are still exceptional, this negative event leads Bryce to end up living a miserable existence as a sad, cheap, depressed bodyguard. Samuel L. Jackson instead portrays convicted hitman Darius Kincaid. He is considered one of the most dangerous men on earth because of his unreasonably high body count and his unreal ability of getting out of any sticky situation. Kincaid's wife Sonia is also in jail but she is offered the life-changing opportunity of walking free if Kincaid agrees to testify against the ill-famed dictator of Belarus. Kincaid's testimony is organised but things soon slip out of control when this ruthless dictator sets his men on the hunt for Kincaid before the trial can take place and Kincaid ends up being protected by our good old bodyguard Michael Bryce. The two men end up in an insane journey across various countries, getting into countless fights and escaping from very rough situations. When I first saw the trailer for this film I wasn't interested in it even on the slightest level. I expected it to be ridiculous and boring and I thought it was just taking advantage of the Ryan Reynolds as funny Deadpool factor. Well I was wrong. Although it is after all just a simple summer box office hit, I found it very fun and entertaining and I'm in particular I liked the dialogues and the chemistry between the two main characters. Bryce and Kincaid have completely opposite personalities but they clash on the fact of wanting to be the best when it comes down to fighting. Kincaid is definitely more skilled in combat, he is older, he acts more instinctively, he has seen more on the field but he appears more cold-hearted claiming that being a hitman doesn't necessarily equal to doing something wrong. It's that Bryce always sticks to protocol to rules, he never strays away from the plan and often criticises Kincaid for his cold heart. But throughout the journey, with its ups and downs, both characters discover that they can learn something from one another and they start to reflect upon their personal past and their decisions. And after all, the general idea of this plot is just that of a very long journey with a series of obstacles along the way. So we needed good dialogues, a good chemistry between the characters, something which would keep us watching and laughing for two hours. And Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson definitely managed to convey on screen the eternal bickering, fighting, discussion-filled bond which forms between the two characters, with many lines which I think were actually improvised, giving us the feeling of watching two people, not two actors playing them. But the film also gave us continuous references to Samuel L. Jackson's angry, menacing-looking, swearing, debatable, somewhat knowledgeable and thought-provoking characters. For example, Bryce often complains about how his protege has absolutely ruined the concept of a specific swear word he often says, stripping it of all of its meaning. I also like the character of Sonia, Kincaid's wife. She is portrayed by Salma Hayek and is a dangerous, demanding, arrogant felon which spends her time in jail acting as a queen, rudely interacting with her guards and cellmates and insulting Kincaid for letting her get it behind bars. But we soon discover that deep down she has a heart as she cares for her husband. I know there have been complaints about the film being too simple and overflowing with action cliches, but I believe one of the real goals of this film was actually that of embracing every possible overused concept we have seen in the last 20-30 years of action films and use it as a comedic device. We have characters jumping off rooftops into dumpsters, highly unfeasible car chases, grown worthy one-liners, huge explosions billowing behind the character silhouettes, unlikely come phone calls during in highly stressful situations, fistfights in bars in Central America, and so many other familiar stunts. For example, Bryce calmly speaking about his client while a huge explosion-packed attack is going on behind his back, just for pure comedic effect. And to wink at all the over-repetitive features we all know so well from comedy action films. It's obviously a film which knows its limits and doesn't aim at being a game-changing masterpiece in the world of cinema. But if I could pick a feature to change, I would cut the running time by 15, even 30 minutes. More than once it was nearly on the edge of slipping and becoming boring but in the end it never did. It always then just managed to pull us back into the story. Also if you're into action films and want to enjoy a good fist fight or car chase, this film is packed to the brim with punches, explosions, Kevlar, machine guns, but differently from other comedy action films, it tries to not make too much fun out of the violence. It doesn't portray the villain, the dictator, as the baddie with evil plans, which just ends up making the audience laugh. Gary Oldman as the dictator has a very short screen time, but yet we had already enough material 
material to absolutely despise him and want our characters to make it to the trial. So out of all the comedies which have been released this summer, and I'm speaking of films like Rough Night, Snatch, The Hitman's Bodyguard is easily one of the best ones. Let me know what you think about this film with a comment here below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more movie related content. See you soon. Bye.